hello guys welcome back to my sewing corner welcome to my channel if you are new you're very much welcome thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video and trust me this is going to be a very quick and easy diy tutorial you want to watch to the end okay so today i'm going to be showing us how to make a flounce as you can see and i'm going to be illustrating using this my sketch okay please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and make sure you click on the like button yes thumbs up for this video okay and yes without wasting time let's just go straight to the video okay guys so here you can see i have a sketch of what we want to do the flounce that we want to sketch out we want to draft and cut as you can see okay so it's just like a spiral a circle that continues in a spiral form okay and this is the center okay this is the first circle you draw before it starts expanding and extends so i'm going to be explaining to us in details how i got this okay so as you can see, I already folded my, I already marked, drew my circle, marked my midpoint, and I'm going to show you how I did that now. First thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric. I'm using this fabric into four, so that we able to get the center. So this is the center that I want. So you open it up so that we can mark those points out so let me just draw lines to make them more obvious okay okay so now you can see that we have a vertical and horizontal line and this is the midpoint the radius of our circle will be three inches so i'm going to mark three inches on here so that i can use my compass to trace it out okay so i'll first use this pencil and then i'll Use the marker to make it more visible. You'll not be able to see, but I'll use my marker to trace it out. Okay, so once you're done drawing your circle, make sure you have your lines extended, your vertical and horizontal lines extended. The radius, three quarter, you can see. So from the center to this one side, you have three quarter. The same thing for the other side as well three quarters so that is it depends on what you want to use but that is going to be the first one the other ones will be wider than that okay so you're going to pick two points one vertical and one horizontal line okay we want to expand this this same um, circle but first thing we want to make this spiral curve we wanted to con we want to make this spiral part can you see so what you're going to do i'm going to be using this and uh, this for my reference points and i'm going to be picking a bit of this one okay so now what i'm going to do now is to measure what i want to use here and i use three quarter inches so i'm going to measure five inches here so that is the width of my main flounce that's going to be the width of my this width is just for us to get the center this call okay that's just why we are using that so this is going to be my main measurements you can actually extend as you go you can increase the next one also to like seven inches so it depends it's all your choice now after marking this point out now i'm going to come down here from quarter of this of this part of the circle somewhere like here then i'm going to connect it up to this point okay you can pick any side so this is closest to me and it's easier to draw it from here so i'm just gonna connect it my marker is not let me pick up another one so you just connect it from that point okay so we start measuring five inches from that point it's a very simple diy trust me just start measuring five the five inches are marked here like i said that's going to be the width of our of all of our measurements so i'll measure the five inches right and i'll come back and show you what it looks like guys I wanted to just tell us that once you get to this point now this is where the new curve started which is going to be the starting point for our curve you just measure from here okay just to show you can you see then you continue like that as well from this main from the new one okay my fabric will not do if you can see this is where this curve will end so it cannot take more of it so i was going to curve it and I will hand it here, okay? The upper part too can't take. See the upper part, you can't take it. So I'm just going to hand my curve here. So I will just measure five inches here, okay? So there are two ways. You can make your the hand of your flounce to also be like this. But let me connect it and I will explain that. So 
all right guys so you can see that we already have a spiral circle see let me show you from our sketch you can see that this is where the spiral started from the spiral circle and you see so i only have one layer here so if you want to have two layers like this one you can go ahead if your fabric will do go ahead and form another layer for it now i was going to say something that if you now want the hand of your spiral not to be this wide okay if you want it to be curved as well because this starting point is curved okay you just pick any of you can pick this one and this one as well the same way you did for the for this small circle so you pick two points one vertical and one horizontal as well and from this point instead of coming this way you come back to this point like this okay you just come back like this so that way your spiral will have but this mine is small this the, doesn't have many layers just one layer it will not be fine if you just if after just calling out this one and then you just hand it like this it won't be it won't look well so for this one if you're working with a small spiral like this just make sure it is broad at the end so that it would be um, beautiful look at the sketch i have here just imagine now this is a, this is what i was trying to explain look at it look at that and come back here so because it is wide on its own it has two layers so definitely is there still because there's a center layer that you know will give it the beauty okay so that's it for if now so just go ahead and cut it this whole circle is going out so i'm just gonna cut it now and you see You know, you're going to turn it out with either another fabric or the same fabric you're using for the main flounce. Okay, so if you want to do that, make sure you, you've you placed your, your fabric on full. Like, cause it's making it two layers, okay? Make sure you have two layers of fabric. That way, you know, you'll be able to cut out both the main one and the, the, the one that will line it, sort of. Okay? So you cut it like this. You can see the circle is out. And this is our flums. This is where this flums started from. And this is the base of the flum. So how do you now style your flums? It's your choice. You can decide to style it any way you want. You know, just to give it that beauty. So you style it, you just use a needle and thread to tack it down. Okay. Different styles you can use a flums to, to form. So you can see, though mine is not in many layers, but you can see that it's forming something beautiful for us to see. See it? So, on its own, let me raise my camera so that you see how it's cascading. Can you see the cascade? I'm just pulling it to see the cascade is forming on its own. Okay, so all you just need to do is to place it on your fabric and then pin it, um, hold it down with your needle and thread, okay? to the style you want so thank you guys for watching with this we've come to the end of the i hope you learned one or two things it's a very quick one it's quick diy so i hope you learn one or two things and i'll see you in the next one if you haven't subscribed please click that red subscribe button and turn on the bell beside it so that i can get notifications of new videos from me and i'll see you in the next one bye